my channel or welcome if you are new today is going to be my first ever frugal friday type video so if you guys missed it i did announce a channel update in my last vlog i will leave that link down below because i do go more in detail about it but i'm going to be uploading on fridays a lot of like frugal and a bargain type of videos and it can vary it could be a diy it could be a shop with me it could be a haul it can be anything that has to do with frugal or a bargain. So today's gonna be my first one. It is going to be another Dollar Tree haul. It's gonna be a Halloween haul. I asked you guys if you guys would like me to do another Dollar Tree Halloween haul. I had you guys vote and majority of you guys said yes. I think it was like 80 or 90% of you guys said yes and there was only like 10 or 15% that said no. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this haul since majority of you guys did say yes. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I do have quite a few things here. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into this haul. Also, I do apologize if you guys hear anything in the background. My husband is in the backyard doing some work. He's like drilling and stuff. So I'm really hoping that you guys don't hear or if you guys do hear, it's not too loud. So let's go ahead and jump right into this haul. So. The first two things is going to be for Madison. So we are having a Halloween party and I don't think I'm gonna have her wear her actual costume for the Halloween party because we ordered it and it still has not come in and the Halloween party is going to be like in three days. So I just got her something really cheap from Dollar Tree. So I got her these wings. She's going to be, I guess, like a little um, ladybug. I don't think she'll keep this on, but if I can at least get a few pictures, I think that'll be really cute. And then I also got her the matching like little tutu I thought was really cute. So I can put like an all black outfit on her and then put the tutu on and then put the wings. They did also have these really cute like head, it's always like a headband and it was really cute, but I did try it on her in the store and she was not having it. She hates headbands. So I didn't want to get that because I knew she wouldn't keep it on her head, but I got her those two and that's what she'll wear for the Halloween party. Ryan also picked out something really cheap from Dollar Tree to wear on the Halloween party. I think he probably is gonna wear his like blow up Halloween costume, but when he gets tired of wearing that, I did get him, I think it's like a dragon or I don't know, it might be a dragon, but it's something similar to Madison's. For me, since I'm not really dressing up in the actual costume, I still want it to be a little festive. So what I plan on doing is wearing all black and then just putting these little devil horns on. I know, super basic, but these devil horns and then it comes with the tail and also a bow. I don't know if I'll wear the bow around my neck because I hate like um stuff that's like tied around my neck, like chokers and stuff. So I might not wear this, but I'll definitely wear the horns and the tail so I can at least look a little festive. So next is going to be these really cool Halloween flowers. So I have this wine bottle. It's like a Halloween wine bottle that my friend brought last year to the house. We drank all the wine and I was obsessed with the wine bottle because it's like engraved. It's really cute. So I thought this would look cute in that Halloween wine bottle. So they had like a no more Halloween um, flowers is the only thing I can find. So this one's just like orange and glittery. I don't know what this is called. It's just called, it's just called branches and it has a bunch of glitter on there. And then I bought these two bouquet of um, black roses and then they have purple spires. So I thought I could put these with that sparkle branch in the wine bottle and it would look really cute because I barely have any Halloween decor in the house. Next are gonna be these two Halloween boxes and I wish I would have grabbed these when I first saw it. When they first started putting out all their Halloween stuff, they had a ton of different ones and I did not grab it because I didn't think I was gonna decorate for Halloween. I ended up decorating just a little bit, but these are the last two I could find. So it just says, um, Halloween tricks and treats and I guess you can technically put something in there but I'm not gonna put anything in there I'm just gonna use it for decor so I got a large one and then a small one and I'm just gonna stack it like that I'm not sure where I will put it in the house but I thought that would be like a really cute um, touch to the other Halloween decor items that I have next is going to be this temporary hair color so I'm assuming that this is like a glitter gold because the cap is clear with like glitter gold like specks on it so i thought this would be fun to just spray in like my hair or the kids hair for the halloween party and also halloween night so i just grabbed one of those we'll see how well it works it was only a dollar so test that out when we have the party next items are going to be these two packs of halloween balloons so each come with six and i thought this was really cool so i guess they're supposed to be like skeletons they're white balloons and then you put the glow sticks in it it comes with a pack of glow sticks that you put in the balloon and then they light up so each pack comes with six so i thought that would be really fun to blow up for the halloween party i'm not sure if they had any other ones i didn't see any other ones these are the only ones that i saw so i just grabbed two of those 
Also for the party, I just got some like plates and napkins. So I got a pack of these that just say boo. And then these that come with like a witch, Frankenstein and a ghost. And I do have a few of these napkins that I put in the kids lunch box, make it a little festive, but each of these come with 18. And then I also got some paper plates. So I got this one that says happy Halloween and it has a haunted house on it. And then this one that has candy corn and pumpkins. And they both come with 18. I feel like this year, the quality of their paper plates, at least for Halloween, is much better than last year. I feel like last year they were super thin and like flimsy. And I feel like these are pretty sturdy. At least they feel pretty sturdy in um, the packaging. So I got two of those and they come with 18 each. And then I got this just like little tin can. And it says party, pumpkin, eat, happy Halloween. And I thought that would be cute to put all of the silverware. So I just got a um, bag of orange silverware. It comes with everything. It comes with the forks, spoons, and knives. So I thought that would be cute just to like place in there and put on the table for everyone to have some silverware. So I just grabbed that. And the last like decor item for the Halloween party is this decorative banner. And it's just a bunch of broomsticks and witch legs. I have no clue where I am going to put this, but I just thought that was really cute. And for a dollar, I thought that was worth it. So I'll find a place in the house to put it and I will put that up for the party as well. Now the next few things is going to be for the kids goodie bags. So I decided to make all the kids that are coming to the party just a little cute goodie bag nothing too crazy so i could have sworn i already bought like bags to put them in and i can't find them so i grabbed two each come with six and this one says trick or treat and it comes with two different designs so this one has a witch and a ghost and then the other ones in the back have a um skeleton and then frankenstein so that was cute and then i also got this one and these are all the same design it just says eek with a spider on it and this is where i will put all the kids like little goodies in it and then i got for the goodie bag i got two packs of these notepads it comes with eight each so these say trick or treat and then these just say happy halloween so this will go in the little halloween goodie bag i also got pencils to go with this little notepad and this comes with 12 and has three different designs i also bought some from target so if i run out of these i'll have the ones from target as well then i thought these were really cute so they are glow in the dark um bracelets so i got two packs of the pumpkin ones and each one comes with two so it's two for each pack so i got two packs of the pumpkin ones and then i bought three packs of the little ghost ones and i will put these i don't think i'll put these in the kids goodie bag i think i'll just set it on the table so they can wear it during the halloween party so i grabbed a few packs of those i also grabbed two packs of these paddle balls that each come with six and i believe they're just like all the same design in each pack so i have two packs of those as far as candy i just got these lollipops i thought they were really cool so these come with how many six and there's frankenstein and witch hats and for some reason the witch hat remind me of hocus pocus if you guys have watched hocus pocus there's a scene that um the little girl is eating the little lollipop and it's a witch hat and i don't know why i just thought about hocus pocus so i grabbed that one and then this one comes with pumpkins and ghosts so they'll have a lollipop in there and then i also just grabbed a small bag of smarties my son is obsessed with smarties so just grab the bag of that and i also put that in their goodie bag i also have a lot of things that i bought from target i bought i think like tattoos and stickers more pencils and like stamps i believe so all of that also will go into the kids goodie bag so that's everything for the goodie bag that i bought from dollar tree and the last halloween item i have is this trick-or-treat little card dollar tree seriously has the best cards this is so cute so i got my sister one that said hocus pocus and i figured since i'm sending her one i want to send my mom one as well so i just got her that one that has some cupcakes on it and this is only a dollar and then the last few items is not halloween related but i figured since i picked it up on the same day i'll just go ahead and show you guys so the first thing is going to be some napkins these napkins come with 20 and they're dinosaurs i've never seen these napkins at my dollar tree it's the first time i've ever seen it and my son is obsessed with dinosaurs so this would be perfect to put in his lunch box and then i bought him some workbooks and coloring books and Dollar Tree has the best um, selection of like workbooks, flashcards, coloring um, books, painting, everything. So like I said, he loves dinosaurs. I've never seen this either at Dollar Tree, but I found this, it's called Draw With Me. And right now he's very into drawing. 
he'll watch videos and try to learn how to draw. So basically you can draw a bunch of different dinosaurs. So it shows you step by step how to draw the dinosaur and then he can draw it right here. So I thought that would be so cute for his stocking. A few of these things are for his stocking. So I grabbed some that. I tried to look for other ones and this is the only one I found, literally the last one. So I'm gonna keep on looking to see if they have any other ones. But for now, this is the one I got him. And then I also got him this paint with water. I love these just because you don't have to use real paint. You just dip your paintbrush in water and then it paints, the paint is already on there and it's just less messier than actual paint. So I got him this dinosaur one. I'll probably put this in his um, stocking as well. So the next two things is educational things. So I love buying stuff like this from Dollar Tree. So affordable. So this is for ages five to seven. And I looked into it and basically everything that is in here are things that he's currently working on in class because he comes home with like practice work and stuff and this is seriously everything that he's working on right now so i figured that would be great for like extra practice at home and then i found this one doesn't say like what age or grade but again when i looked into it it's basically everything that he's working on right now at school plus it tells them to like practice writing um letters and numbers and he's still writing a lot of numbers and letters backwards so i thought this would be perfect for him to practice and it's just numbers and counting learning workbook. The next two things are gonna be calendars. I bought a calendar for my mom and a calendar for my sister. So this one says make today amazing and it has a bunch of flowers in the front. And I just love the design for each month. It's so pretty, it has a bunch of really nice sayings. And I feel like after the month is over, you can totally take out that picture and like frame it or make some type of DIY with it. So I grabbed that one. And then I also found this one that says begin each day with a grateful heart and it has like a little bicycle with flowers. And again, the pictures are so pretty and I love them. So I grabbed that as well. And then I found these socks. They are the Essie brand. And I bought a pair of socks from this brand from Dollar Tree before for Madison and they work really well. They're, I think, really good quality. So I got a pair for my niece. They are just like a little unicorn socks and it comes in a pack of two. So I grabbed a pair for my niece and then I grabbed the same exact pair for Madison. Also for Madison, I got her this um, just frozen little lunch container so I can put like fruit or snacks in here for her for school. So I thought that was really cute and I've never seen the frozen one. I'm guessing since um, Frozen 2 is coming out soon, they have a ton of frozen stuff at Dollar Tree. So I grabbed her that one. Also for Madison, I got this hair clip. They have really good hair clips at Dollar Tree as well. So this one is white and then it has a cute little um, rainbow with a star. I think they also had a red one, but I just grabbed the white one. I should probably go back and get one for my niece as well. I don't know why I didn't get her one, but I grabbed that. And then the last thing I got for Madison is this ball for her um, stocking. So it's very hard to shop for her because she doesn't really play with much toys, but she loves like balls. So I thought this one was cute. It's it's like a reddish pink and then if you shake it you guys are not gonna be able to tell but if you shake it it does light up and it bounces so i thought that would be cute to put in her stocking and then the last thing i found that i've never seen at dollar tree either is this it's called as seen on tv egglets hard boiled eggs without the shell and guys i just saw this at target for eight dollars i believe it was 7.99 and i found this at dollar tree for only a dollar so I think I'm going to give this to either my sister, my mom, or my grandma. I'm not sure for Christmas as one of like their little gifts. So I might just go back and get two more and just give them away because like I said, they have these at Target for $8 and I got this from Dollar Tree for only a dollar. All right, you guys. So that was the last thing that I bought from Dollar Tree this time around. I hope you guys enjoyed this Halloween haul. This will be my last Halloween themed haul. I don't need any more Halloween things. Halloween is in two weeks, so definitely done with the Halloween shopping, but I do have a Christmas one probably coming soon. I'm planning on uploading my Christmas haul probably the first week of um, November, so the first Friday of November, I will probably upload it, but I do have a Christmas um, Dollar Tree shop with me that I plan on uploading this weekend so you guys can see what Dollar Tree has out right now They're pulling a lot of their Christmas items out I can tell that they still aren't finished because one a lot of Halloween and fall stuff is still out But also they still had like a bunch of boxes that they were unpacking 
So I might do like another shop with me soon, but I will have one up on Sunday. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first Frugal Friday video. Hope you guys enjoy it. I love these types of bargain type videos. I will have so many more. I have a lot planned. I wrote down a lot of ideas that I would like to do. I have some Christmas DIYs I'll be doing soon. I have some in the store try on videos I would like to do and then if I do any more like winter shopping that's affordable I probably will do that as well so definitely subscribe and turn on notification bell so you don't miss out on any of those videos as always thank you so much for watching today's Dollar Tree haul I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time Bye.